One of the most difficult tasks of any photo manipulation project is getting the light and shadows to agree. This is particularly difficult if you're working with multiple photos, each taken from an entirely different type of lighting setup. If you've ever struggled with this, then you understand how frustrating it can be to work with various photos with various different types of light. My name is Kirk Nelson with Tuts Plus, and I'm here to help. I'm a professional graphics artist with over 20 years of experience. And in this course, I'm going to teach you the techniques that you need to be able to composite several photos from various lighting sources into a single believable composite. Welcome to using light and shadow and photo manipulation. This course is a follow on course from my previous course, Mastering Light and Shadow in Adobe Photoshop. We will be taking concepts and techniques from that course and applying them here to a fun photo manipulation project. If you haven't already watched that course, I recommend you do so before trying to follow along with this one. In this course, we will be using a handful of different photos to composite together into a single scene. This will involve changing the scene lighting, crafting cast shadows from multiple light sources, and even dealing with reflected or bounced lights. Keep in mind this course is intended for an intermediate to advanced Photoshop user. I'm going to assume you are already familiar with Photoshop and the basics of compositing and photo manipulation. The course files for this course contain all the images you need to complete this project. I'm also including the source PSD files, so you can open up my project files and pick through them in case you get stuck. Each lesson's PSD represents the end state of that lesson. But because the lessons are cumulative, you should start each lesson with the previous lesson's file. Keep in mind I'm using Photoshop CC 2015, the program that was updated in the summer of 2015. And with that, I really hope you enjoy the project of this course. I hope you have some fun with it, as well as learn some techniques that you didn't have before. By the end of this course, you should have a solid understanding of how to accurately use light and shadow within your own photo manipulation projects. So let's get things started. Load up lesson two, and we'll start building the scene. 